Collectors, yes, I'm talking to you, Pokemon card investors or collectors. Uh, today, as you guys can see up on the screen right here, we're going to be talking about pull rate data. I'm going over all of the Scarlet Violet era and what that means and why you should be aware of the pull rates from different sets. So we're going to start obviously right away with Twilight Masquerade, the latest set that just launched. Um, all these graphics are from TCG Player, and as you can see here, it says the data from over 8,000 Masquerade booster packs. So that's a lot of packs to have ripped. So let's just take a look at some of these, and you can just see just how rare some of these cards are. So, and specifically, I want to talk about the Greninja and the Carmine, but mainly the Greninja is kind of where I'm at. So, you know, any SIR 86 packs, but for a specific SIR for this Greninja, one out of every 941 packs. So, uh, this is going to be a little relevant as we work. We're going to work back towards the Sky, uh, excuse me, Scarlet and Violet base set, uh, and you'll see that uh, these these have changed. They've tightened up the uh, the pull rates. So, what does that mean for you guys? Well. Maybe for some of these sets, like these singles and sealed product, um, you, this even though I uh, see Twilight as maybe a weaker set, that maybe it's not the worst idea to get boxes when you can at affordable prices because some of these pull rates are going to be hard and people are going to want to chase these. Uh, we've seen that a lot with Cool Trainer Ryan chasing some of those Sword and Shield um, hits. But um, before we move backwards, well, let's talk about um, the Greninja. Uh, I did a live stream the other day and people were asking me about what my price prediction for the Greninja is. And that's really hard to do right off the bat, but I did want to address it and use an example. We'll use some temporal um, data here. But as you guys can see, this is just TCG player, but when this when this card came out, when it first launched with the set just the other day, 156 bucks, and now we're, we're seeing 117 and um there were a few sales look at like uh, this still says near mint oh this is japanese <laughs> so um yeah 120 i see this being a sub 100 dollars card uh, well, i do think that this is obviously the best card in this set and i do think that this artwork is stunning but i could see this dropping down to sub 100 and then slowly dropping down to around 80 ish um, that's not a for sure thing. That's just 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 an estimate. But let's look at um, some of the cards from Temporal. You can see there's actually an interesting development going on just recently. Uh, this Iron Crown used to be the top card, but now Raging Bolt is the most expensive. I don't know if that's just a buyout, but let's just jump into it. So this is what happens, guys. You can see the chart here uh, for the last three months. So this was around a hundred dollar card, and now we're down into the fifties with uh, last solds in the 40s. Uh, let's just pull this up real quick. So near mint, 47, 44 bucks. Albeit, this is not as nearly uh, as popular of a Pokemon as Greninja. So keep that in mind, but you just can see the uh, the percent drop here. So um, we'll also, so we'll look at the Raging Bolt. So this is what the Raging Bolt did. It was around 70, 76, and it tanked all the way down to 50. And then came up a little bit and now it's having this huge price i don't know if this is just a tcg player buyout a lot of those are happening um so yeah now we're in the hundred dollar range so um this this drop is fairly normal when the set comes out um they're high they always drop uh, tends to happen especially over time so uh, we'll see this like this card will continue to, to trend down so with the greninja i i I expect this to keep trending down. We'll be I, if you're looking to pick up this card, I would personally wait. I don't think you can be rushing out to uh, to buy this card um, currently. So also we'll touch real quick. We'll look at the uh, the hyper rare. Any of these gold cards, 146 packs to pull one. One out of 879 to pull a specific card. You got your illustration rares. One out of 13 packs. Um, I don't, and then, you know, you got your ultra rare numbers down here. I'm more interested in these top three, uh, but let's go one set back and let's look at temporal. We can kind of come back and forth here. So let's see, this is pretty much, so we got one out of 86 for the SIRs, which is the same. Uh, the specific SIRs is a little bit more rare for Twilight, but 
and you got one out of, let's see, so 139 and 836. So fairly close on our, our gold hyper rares and our SIRs. And it looks like the illustration rares, pretty much the same. So they kept with the same more difficult pull rates um, as temporal. And then if we go back, so this is where I think we'll see a change here. Yeah, so this is pretty big as far as any SIR. We are in Paradox now. And yeah, so one out of 47 packs, you're going to get an SIR versus we're in the 80s here. So it's about from Temporal on, Temporal and Twilight, it's twice as hard to pull an SIR, which is interesting. So keep that in mind. Um, the IRs are, yeah, so to pull an IR, it's about the same. But for these specific IRs, it's actually harder for Paradox. And then the Hyper Rares are, the Hyper Rares are easier as well. Um, so they've been ramping up, um, the pull rates, making them, making them a lot harder. So let's see. Yeah. This number down here, chance of pulling one. Um, then let's check obsidian flames. So we're at SIR. So 47 and 82. Okay. So they changed their graphic a little bit here. So, but these are for specific cards. Um, oh, here we go. SIR is 32. And what was it for this? 47. So. It was easier. It was even easier in Obsidian Flames. Um, you can see these. You had a two, 216 chance to pull the chase, Zard. Um, and so, yeah, it, it seems that they are ramping these up. We'll go back to Paldea. Um, SIR, one out of every 32 packs, which is the same, same thing here. So in Paldea, it was easy to pull SIRs. You can see these are for the individual cards around out of every 480 packs for the magic card um, which makes sense and then let's go back all the way to scarlet and violet which kind of is about the same rate one out of every 32 packs you're going to get uh, an sir and one yeah so what they did over the over the era is they have um really ramped up the the uh pull rate difficulty because when you compare when you compare these to get an SIR, it's out of 86 packs. So you can get booster boxes and not even get SIRs. Versus in these earlier sets, out of a booster box, you were getting a guaranteed SIR, which I really liked. I like that you had a guaranteed SIR. I really like that um, personally. So what that means is some of these singles might hold more value because they're more rare. It really, people might, it's just, for me, personally, I like looking at this and knowing that um, these sets are much harder to hit. And so maybe even though I'm not into Twilight Masquerade, I might pick up some boxes. So um, this is just some data that I just kind of wanted to, to talk about, look at. I think it's interesting to um, to pull up with, a, with these. Uh, these are just the booster box sets, obviously not the specialty sets, but um, I'm still... And also... You also got to think too that with these earlier boxes, um, base through Obsidian, that long over the long term, people will want to open these boxes because they do have higher hit rates. So while the card value might be down, maybe the box price might be up that way too. So it depends how you want to look at it. But because if you know, like, yeah, I mean, like I said, I like Scarlet and Violet base. So uh, not everybody does. I like it a lot. But if you want to rip product and pull some hits, you got a much better chance with some of these earlier sets. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to bring that up, talk about talk about pull rates for this new era. And that's going to do it for this one, guys. I just thought this was some interesting information from all from TCG Player, but still cool to see, cool to visual, visualize. I'm a very visual person, so I like seeing the, uh, you know, the graphics here. And it just helps me kind of better understand, like, what's going on, so... Uh, that's gonna do it for this one guys. I'll, I'll catch you guys in the next one If you made it this far in the video and you're not already subscribed Obviously you enjoyed the content enough to watch it this far. So uh, if you could hit that subscribe button, I would greatly appreciate it And I'll catch you guys in the next one. And remember it was never a phase <laughs>